Hi everybody, so today is Vlogmas Day 9 and for Vlogmas Day 9 I am going to do another children's footprint craft. Like I said, I'm going to do it every Wednesday and so I'm going to go ahead and start it. Um, today I am going to do mistletoes. I actually seen this idea on Pinterest also and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white um, canvas pad and I am going or sketch pad and I'm going to take the yellow and I'm gonna make polka dots on it and I'm just gonna use my finger I mean you guys can use a paintbrush or anything but I'm just gonna use my finger and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint yellow polka dots and then I'm gonna take the green and I'm gonna paint his feet green and then do his footprints at an angle like this but like they're gonna be upside down though, so it's really gonna be like this. Um, so his toes are down here. And then I'm going to put just a few little red dots on there to make it look cute, and then write in red mistletoes. And so yeah, I will go ahead and start this craft. Okay, so here I have my sketch pad. Um, all you really need for this craft is your paper. I mean, you could use printer paper if you wanted to. I just use this sketch paper because it's a little bit thicker consistency. And then you can just use any colors that you want to. However, I'm gonna use Christmas colors, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this yellow. Um, it is called Sunny Day. It's from the Apple Barrel brand. And then I'm gonna use Kelly Green. Also the Apple Barrel brand. And then this one is also an Apple Barrel brand. And this one is red apple. And I have two different reds. The one is like flag red and then the other one is red apple. And I mean, they're pretty much the same color, but you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and start um, by shaking these. And then I'm going to start making the dots on here. And I'm just gonna use a diaper wipe to, wa to wipe off my finger because I, I'm not going to rinse it off during this time. See, I'm just gonna put a little bit of dot on my finger. That was actually a huge dot. So I'm just gonna make a few dots. I'm gonna rub them in. I just don't have so much pain on my finger. See, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a few different sizes of polka dots. I mean, not all of them, obviously, are gonna be the same. And I am going to be leaving this one on the sketch pad because this craft is easier to do with it on a sketch pad to get his footprints. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue to make some dots on here. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to let this dry and then I am going to go ahead and paint Liam's feet and put them on here. Check out that cute little kid. We're sitting here listening to music. He's just chilling in his Santa hat. Oh, handsome kid. Check him out, guys. Is he not the cutest? Look at how he has his little feet crossed. You are too cute! Oh, and he is a total flirt. You see how he does that, guys? Okay, everyone, so now I am going ahead and start doing Liam's footprints for the mistletoe craft. Um, this did take about a half hour to 40 minutes to dry, and like that little dot right there isn't even dry yet. But I mean, I've been waiting like five minutes past when all the other ones dried, and that one's just being a bugger. So I don't know, I think it'll be fine. But yeah, that is how my polka dots turned out. They're more gold than anything, but I think it'll look really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shake the green, and I'll be adding the red in with my finger. I'm gonna give him a puff. 
So you guys, as long as you keep him distracted, he's great. Okay, and then over here to my right, I have a pile of diaper wipes. Just sitting here for me to use. I'm gonna go ahead and squirt some of this on my finger. Yeah, and another thing that I really should have done too was roll up his pants. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on there. Good job, baby! I'm gonna rub this stuff off my finger really quick. Yeah, and another thing, if you guys get this on yourself or on your clothes, just know that it comes off with um, hot water and done dish soap. Okay, so now I'm gonna take his hand like I, or his foot like I did last time, okay? I have it around his ankle, I mean, I'm not squeezing it hard. And I'm gonna put my pointer finger against his toes. And then I'm gonna go at this one at an angle like this. And then I'm just gonna shove it down and push down really hard. You see what I'm doing, guys? And then pull his foot up. That was a great footprint. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna wipe the paint off. Great job. Yeah, how about it, Pop? Good job. I mean, like, as we do this more, he's doing so much better. And yeah, I used the same chair as I did last time. Like I had said, these things are amazing, amazing, amazing to use for crafts like this because I mean, he can't go anywhere and I can keep his foot far enough away where he can't touch it. And I mean, he can sit there and have fun and play with his toys while I do this, although he's not going to. He's too occupied with not playing with his toes. Right, all right. Yeah, and um, I'm also using acrylic paint. I am not sure if I mentioned that earlier in the video. Um, but acrylic paint, I have found, just works so much better for these kinds of crafts. Okay, so for the right foot, I'm gonna get about that much paint again. It's like a oh, dime size, if not smaller. And I'm gonna take his foot and hold it, because I really don't want the other one getting paint on it. <laughs> And I try to keep his other foot like underneath my forearm almost. So I'm just gonna rub that paint on there. Good job. Oh! Cat like reflexes. So I'm just gonna wipe off my finger. Great job, buddy! Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay, so now I'm going to take this piece of paper again and just put this heel up to this one, and I'm also putting this one at an angle, okay? And I'm just gonna smush his little foot down. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Smushing it down and then pick it up. Those are beautiful, baby. Beautiful, baby. Great job. Yeah, and then you have no more paint getting on your feet. So as you could tell, a few of the little toes didn't get on there, so I'm just gonna paint them in really, really quick with my little pointer finger. Awesome, guys, those footprints look amazing. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am just going to paint a little red bow up here. And then maybe like two or three dots in the middle or something with the red. And for this, I think I'm going to use my pinky because it always seems to work better. There's like a little dingleberry on there. That's another thing guys, make sure that you shake this. Okay, so now I am just going to get a little bit of paint. So I'm gonna use this finger on my pinky, okay? And I'm just gonna draw a bow up here. Okay, and then I think down here I might write mistletoes.
do a little bow right there. All right, everybody, so now that I have got this done, I think that I am good for this craft. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this craft. It says mistletoes. It's just a really fun, cute little craft to do with your kids. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Bye.